today we're looking at a different independent web browser. And yes, when I say independent, I actually mean it's independent. This is not Firefox based, it's not Chromium based. It is the Ladybird browser project. And what that is, it's an ongoing uh, independent web browser that's being built from scratch as part of the Serenity OS project. Now, if you're not too sure of the Serenity project, it's essentially an ongoing uh, project that's been built on uh, GitHub from various developers across the globe to make a uh, operating system, essentially. So, uh, unfortunately, at the moment, there's no downloadable binaries yet uh, for Serenity. And uh, there is ongoing work, I believe, in the background to make Ladybird browser to not only run on Serenity, but on other systems as well. So uh, that's exactly what we've got here today. So we've got the latest version of the Lady browser, or Ladybird browser. And essentially what I've done is I'm running it on uh, one of my uh, Garuda Linux installs. And uh, I just want to call out, even though there is a version of Ladybird browser available in the AUR, uh, it just seems to be compiling at the moment. So I've actually gone ahead and actually followed uh, these build instructions that's available on GitHub. So just a quick high level, quickly what I basically did was I copied the entire Serenity uh, Git, GitHub repo to a local disk. Uh, make sure that I'd run the dependencies for uh, Arch, which is over here, which is vanished quickly. And then after that, I essentially basically just went and ran the uh, command, which basically just runs the Ladybird uh, directly. Right, so that's of course what we've got here. We have uh, Ladybird. So since it's still essentially in alpha stages there's quite a lot of stuff uh, that it's missing compared to regular browsers and quite a lot of stuff it does have uh, so looking immediately out of the box of course you can do you can do new tabs close current tabs uh edit settings so the settings at the moment is you can enable search uh what your search engine is enable autocomplete autocomplete engine I've been experimenting with that and we'll do that together, but I couldn't really get that to work. And then view changing from light to dark, uh, zooming in next tab, previous tab, and a console to a view uh, some sources, as well as spoofing a user agent, uh, which is actually pretty, pretty awesome. So at the moment with the agent disabled, it shows up on websites as uh, what it is of course which is so i'm just gonna show you here so i'm gonna close that and i'm gonna do a new tab and you get to this uh, page here i'm not gonna do that yet so for now for example i'm gonna go to uh, google.com and you'll see it opens that up in an interesting kind of view and let's say we're going to search at uh, serenity OS and I hit search. I need to go click on the search item and it takes us to the Serenity's website. Uh, if I'm middle click, nothing happens. If I right click, I can go open a new tab um, and it will open it up. And of course, talk about the actual Serenity uh, uh, OS, which we'll look at in a different video. And of course, that's the website. I can go back. Uh, which, of course, since we opened it up, it goes back to nothing. Uh, if I right-click here, I can go copy URL. And in a new tab, of course, pay, paste the URL. Right. Uh, going to other websites like Wikipedia does t seem to work. And I'm actually impressed in how well many websites actually load on this. Um, without having to go and change the user agent. Right, and of course, uh, that's this, but this is more of a simpler type of a website. So let's say you want to go to another website like arstechnica.com. 
I have no affiliation to any of these websites. I'm just picking random websites uh, just to test it a bit. And of course, let's say here we we can scroll down. That seems to work fine. Right, let's say we click on this article. Generally, the article seems to load. Uh, it's of course when we get to something like the comments. Oh, okay. That, uh, Oh, it's actually a pop-up. Oh, wow. Uh, interesting. Refresh that. Okay, and clicking on reader's comments, you'll see that it tries to load it, but doesn't actually ever seem to get there. And after a couple of seconds, the entire web page bombs out. Right, and this is the crashed message. So if you click on the crash link, it will take you back to the site. Right, so let's see, click on forums. Wait. The entire browser actually just crashed. Yes, okay, so I'm just going to rerun it again. And set it back up. That's actually the first time I've had the browser crash completely. Okay, so let's tie, uh, let's just in here, go to Linux and say DuckDuckGo. Right, that works. Text us to DuckDuckGo. And let's say we want to go to ZNet, click on ZNet. And I think in this case I have to click it twice. And I don't know if it's actually going to load. So we might have to just refresh it. Yeah, we have to just refresh it. And it's trying to load the site. So let's try here and go to debug. Okay, let's proof that agent there. So let's change that to Chrome Linux desktop. Click on it again. No, and that doesn't really fix anything. So it's more of the browser engine that needs the, the works than spoofing the agent there. Okay, so let's say we go to youtube.com. I can't get it really to, to load much or to do anything else. And it just kind of hangs hangs here having... But let's search uh, something else here. Uh, let's try to bring it. Bing, I find just doesn't seem just doesn't seem to work. There's no way reader for covering it. So let's say we want to inspect it, so we can inspect the element. And here we have inspector, right? Which again, now we can start looking at what's resolved, what's been computed, um, looking at the page breaks, the actual. accessibility going into the description um, and going further so it's just first inspector there and additional items as well i'm just going to clear this browser's cache and go to a another site so let's say you want to go to something like best buy surprisingly it actually works A little slow, but generally tends to load the website uh, pretty well. Some websites, of course, never ever seem to want to load. For example, I find CNN just immediately seems to crash. Or in this case, just do nothing. Okay, so let's say I want to go to Sky News, Google it. One of the important things to realize is even though we've been getting crashes here and there, uh, it's amazing how much progress they've actually made on this independent uh, web browser. So it's not bad. It's 319 out of... You'll see no actual mini video codecs, just the them with VP9. Uh, anything, of course, with related to streaming, just... Isn't, uh, isn't gonna really work. 
and we're getting 95 out of 100 not bad at all uh, this type of site of course uh, loads absolutely perfectly not really much going on on that site here so you can even just go to more and just click on other links and it seems to work pretty well and I can just open that and yeah some of this web and you can see like the majority of the more less system intensive resources websites seem to be loading pretty well yeah okay, so there we go so you know this of course isn't for everyday usage yet it's going to still take a while but uh with more uh donations investors and time uh, hopefully it will be in the future some competition for uh, the duopoly of what we essentially have at the moment of basically just two browser engines and I think it's great work by the team the fact that a lot of websites are learning some of the tests are already passing and uh, I really hope that it's going to go from strength to strength and fantastic work to the Serenity team I think it's absolutely amazing um, great to see what can be done with the uh, minimal resources uh, available so folks uh, leave your comments below let me know what you think about the ladybird browser as always thanks for watching and bye for now mm -hmm.